Hello viewers and uh, welcome to vlog number one, my first attempt at a vlog. I thought I'd uh, give this a whirl, so this time you get to see me sitting and gassing instead of doing stuff just to make a change, but I'm still outdoors. As you can see from the, the weather, it's pretty cold and uh, at the moment we're giving quite a lot of thought to what we can do to improve uh, our house and the warmth inside it. Uh, I think I've mentioned in some previous videos that we are thinking about doing stuff and we're now starting to take steps. So I thought I'd run through those I ideas and those, I suppose, mini projects and hopefully each one of them we'll, we'll cover in greater detail as and when we get to the time. So the first thing we're doing is we are, we've taken advantage, or we're trying to take advantage, of the government's um, green grant that they announced last year and we are uh, applying that to installing an air source heat pump. Um, it doesn't actually change the amount of money you get from the government because you normally get a certain amount of money back through the renewable heat incentive and that's spread out over the course of seven years. Um, with the green grant what happens is you, get, is you get a bigger chunk of the money up front and then the balance you would have got anyway you still receive again paid out over the remaining seven years. So it doesn't change the amount of money you get but it does mean you get more of it more quickly which is still advantageous given that we've um, got a limited budget like most people and I've got quite a bit of work to do. Um, the air source heat pump uh, will replace an oil boiler which we currently have. The oil boiler is quite old um, quite inefficient. Um, it's soldiering on in fairness, it doesn't show any signs of failing imminently but we'd still like to replace it because to be honest it just doesn't feel very nice burning oil and while we've got the solar panels it makes a great deal of sense to make use of something that uses electricity. The other thing inspiring us to get on and replace the oil boiler is that the oil tank we've got is old and uh, starting to look a little bit worse for wear. Uh, we did get somebody in to, to look at it when we first moved in to inspect it and see what sort of condition it was and uh, he felt helpfully said um, that it could last two weeks, it could last two years, who knows, um, but he did say that these things tend to start to leak, they don't just explode catastrophically and spill oil everywhere, they tend to leak and give you plenty of warning. So we've been keeping an eye on that, it hasn't collapsed yet, it's not leaking, but we do need to get rid of it and why replace you know, why replace it with an, another oil tank when we don't intend to keep oil anyway? So, hence the switch over to an air source heat pump. Uh, we've already paid our deposit. Uh, we're still waiting for the government green grant to come through before we can, uh, well, I say we can get on and install it. There's a, a, obviously, there's a company coming to do that for, for us. That's well outside my scope. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes in and hopefully we can video some of the installation and how that works. The other thing we're contemplating at the moment, which is coupled to the air source heat pump, is increasing the number of solar panels that we've got and adding a battery. The array that we've got in the field, which you can maybe just make out behind me, is about 4 kilowatts, and it's 3.99, um, and it, it's it standalone, and it's an, something like 23 panels, I think, off the top of my head. Um, they're relatively old, it's something like 8 or 9 years old now, um, that which is good news and bad news. The, the good news is that means we're on quite a generous tariff, we're on one of the earlier tariffs, so the amount of money we get uh, from generating electricity is, is pretty good. Uh, but the bad news is that they're relatively inefficient panels. So we could actually add another 4 kilowatts with only another 12 panels which we would situate on the roof. We're also looking at pairing that with uh, a battery so that we can store some of the uh, some of the juice up that we're generating during the day and hopefully then the air source heat pump even though the draw on the electricity from that is quite high uh, hopefully between the extra panels and the battery we might even see our electricity drop rather than take a massive hit but it's one of those things you just don't know until you install them what's actually going to happen of course um, we might find our electricity bills still rise uh, it, I, I don't know um, we have got some predicted figures from the um, from the company doing the installation. It's the same company that's going to do the air source heat pump, but they're only predicted. They're certainly not guaranteed. Um, half of me thinks it's a brilliant idea, and half of me thinks we should just wait another two years because battery prices will drop further, solar panels will increase in efficiency, and so on. But at the end of the day, you've got to uh, got to get on with it, bite the bullet at some point, and we will be 
paying more for electricity through the SOS heat pump almost immediately so why not put the batteries in at the same time and the battery and the extra panels. So the remaining two projects are windows. We have already uh, placed our order for some high efficiency triple glazed windows um, from a company called uh, the Green Building Store. Unfortunately we can't replace all the windows in the house because at some point we're going to do an extension. So clearly it's pointless putting windows in to uh, replace old windows where there might not be a wall anymore and so on. So we will be stuck with some, some of the old windows for a little while longer but we're replacing just a little over half of them I think, maybe more, I can't remember now, and thankfully the worst ones as well. So the remaining ones were, are all, I think, are all double glazed at least, um, whereas some of the ones that are going, we've got um, single glazed with wood frame, we've got single glazed with metal frame, uh, and a variety of all sorts of bits and pieces. In fact, in one room we've got an incredible five different styles of windows, it, at each, at each one of them is different um, from each other. It's a bright mess. Um, so yeah, so the windows will be going in, hopefully end of February, maybe beginning of March, sometime around then, um, of course, just in time for the spring when we don't need them so much anymore, uh, but uh, there's a bit of a backlog, I think they're struggling to get some of the sources of wood that they need to, to make the windows, so uh, there's a bit of a backlog, uh, so we'll be waiting for those for a little bit longer. Um, but they should be they should make a real difference particularly on the uh, north side of the house which also happens to be the oldest part it's the old cottage uh, which it gets the coldest so that should make a real difference uh, I'm looking forward to some new windows who thought that uh, at, at some point at some age you'd get excited about triple glazing um, and lastly is the thing I've been looking at most recently is um, insulating the loft better uh, we do have some insulation it's a little bit patchy but the coverage is is reasonable but there's definitely holes um, and uh, unfortunately the um, mice and rats also take advantage of it being an old cottage and, and get up and make themselves a cozy cozy warm spot up there so I'm quite keen to uh, trap all the all the holes that we might have up in there um, both to uh, improve the um, insulation quality but also to stop the um, little friends that we have scampering around in the uh, in the attic at night. You can't obviously block it up completely you have to have ventilation in the right places but if you do an, you know a really good job in all the right places I think we'll we'll end up with a much better much warmer house. Um, there isn't actually much crawl space up there, well, in fact it is crawl space, not, not walking around space, the, the roof's very low. So we're never really going to be able to use it for storage particularly, it's just not convenient enough. So we can effectively devote it to just improving the insulation and, and put loads of it up there. I'm toying with the idea of doing it myself, but I'm also going to get some quotes in because it, frankly it's a, it's a grotty job crawling around up there um, and I'm sure the experts would, would, would do it better. So there you go, so we've got, I remind myself now, air source heat pump, solar panels and battery, windows and uh, loft insulation, an exciting set of projects. So uh, in various states I hope to, um, hope to video some aspects of those soon, keep you up to date and uh, thank you for listening if you've made it all the way to the end, I'll see you again soon.